So let's begin here. Um, this will be part of the sculpting process. Right now, I'm just making the base cube here, which is really just a scale cube with some subdivisions on it to make it so that the quads are even. Uh, so that Mudbox uh, and for that matter ZBrush, if I would choose to bring it in, uh, will sculpt it correctly. Here I'm just checking some random preferences, see if we, seeing if I have everything right. Then bring in the box here, um, smoothing it out a few times. Um, and just right now I'm just making sure everything works and uh, just setting things up. So um, here I believe I'm uh, doing something completely different, but. Uh, never mind that. Uh, so yeah, here I'm just trying out, seeing if uh, a stencil, this stencil I will use later, um, just trying it out now to see if it works. Stencils are like uh, masks, uh, although basically they overlay your screen and everything is sculpted. It's sort of like a, um, uh, if you have, um, you know, a paper and uh, you want to draw something and then you use this uh, sort of already drawn out piece and you sort of draw over it so that it, yeah I'll probably don't get it. So right now I'm just going in with the scrape brush which is, which is just godly for rocks and such and just making some basic shapes and here I'm just trying to pull things seeing if I can get it right uh, with the grab brush because I don't want it to be completely straight. Um, again just making some sharp edges here and now I'm going in with the standard sculpt brush but with the knife uh, brushes uh, stamp and add a low subdivision just sort of drawing in the guide for uh, where I'm going to put the rocks later on. Uh, so this is just like a blueprint of sorts, um, very simple, very convenient, uh, which is, you know, uh, like sculpting in general, it's very fast and easy and fun, which is, you know, this is basically just me screwing around and listening to music and stuff like that. Uh, so just making some lines here uh, where I think they should fit and making sure that some of the walks actually overlap the top border there uh, so that not all of them are just plain on the um, side board, sides basically if you get what I mean sides from the front so that some actually overlap on the top so that it makes it look like it's actually 3D uh, however I'm probably going to have a slight issue with that later on uh, but I will come to that later so now I'm drawing in some more lines, obviously. Um, I'll just draw in some of the lines first. I won't do all of the things. I should think I have enough lines uh, right about now. Yeah. Now I'm going to re uh, refine them. Uh, the issue with the knife stamp is that it, it isn't too exact, which gets those uh, sort of um, issue areas. You can see that the right here, the sort of blotched splotchiness of the cuts. Uh, it'll be fixed somewhat later on, but it's quite an issue. I mean, I could have scaled the knife to up, which, which would probably remove most of that, but I just didn't. I don't know what I did, but I didn't. Now I'm going in with the, again, scrape tool, where I'm going in, in between these uh, rocks and just refining the uh, cutout edge, the knife edge I did, uh, just to try and remove some of this brushness, which it did, and uh, not everything I will refine that later on. Now I'm going with the standard brush and just tweaking the fall off here which we'll see and uh, just trying to add some volume uh, to the rocks so that I mean this will look really weird now but afterwards I will go in with the scrape brush and refine the rocks. So again right now I'm just do adding some very very quick geometry to uh, to the rocks as you can see here. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so there you are now. I'm probably going to go in with the scrape brush. Yeah, see, I'm scraping, scraping things off. Uh, really, the scrape brush is there is no other thing for uh, rocks. Basically, I, that's why I use mud box for rocks. I find I I haven't found an equ equivalent of the scrape scrape brush in ZBrush, oddly enough. But um, yeah, so I use mud box for st stones and rocks and stuff like that. So this is basically what you will be seeing uh, most of the entire tutorial here, <laughs> well the sculpting part anyway. Um, just scraping, refining, scraping, refining, over and over again. Um, this is getting a little bit, bit more interesting in the end though, but you know, this is basically it. Um, you can see that very, very, very quickly, I mean this is something like maybe a quarter or something uh, into the video, not that much really, uh, we get some very stone-like feeling. 
And now we're on a higher sub uh, division, and uh, we find some edges there. You can see uh, where it did. And again, using the scrape tool. Also, remember always uh, do things on layers. Uh, Mudbox has a very easy selection of uh, 3D layers that you can easily do. Uh, they are a lot like Photoshop layers if you have done that. Um, and very similar. Uh, so, however, they are bound to the subdivisions subdivision you have. So if you add something on, let's say, subdivision three, uh, uh, you can't go in and add something to the same layer on another subdivision. However, uh, you can just make a new one, and uh, layers are really handy. So you can see what it's done here. Uh, well, not the layers, but the scrape brush. Uh, you can see that the rocks actually start out looking like rocks here. Uh, which is, you know, very please, pleasing to the eye. Uh, again, going and refining the edges, uh, smoothing, smoothing things out, and grabbing the knife stamp, uh, and just smoothing some uh, more refining things. Uh, I realize that this is a bit hard. I mean, I, I know I'm doing the uh, re refining of the uh, knife things uh, a little bit too hard, uh, but really I'll just smooth that out later on. I just want the lines right now. So again, refining some edges. Um, I sort of like the uh, frontal part here uh, because it wasn't that hard. I mean, the knife edges or the edges in between the indents uh, really weren't that bad. I mean, I, they weren't that splotchy. So I, I figured that the, it really didn't need too much uh, cleaning up to do. So I didn't do it right at this moment. I think I will do it later on though, but you know, that's later on. So let's see here. Um, I think we are almost done with the front part. Well, not done, but this stage of done with this stage. You can see it's still very, very splotchy in this area, um, which will be fixed later on somewhat. I mean, in the end, it's not completely correct. As this was really a quick sculpt I did, I could have spent a lot more time, but I didn't figure I wanted to. Seeing as I mean, I do have like I mean, I I am pretty busy these days, but. Yeah, whatever. So let's see here. Uh, yes. Now I'm going to in, going in and adding the lines uh, for the left side of the rock. Uh, make sure, uh, try to do some rocks that sort of cut above, that sort of lie on the corners. Uh, that looks really good if you do that. Uh, and also, uh, my mistake here was I'm, I'm making the guidelines uh, with the knife, knife stamp here. Um, on the higher subdivision level, which I should not have done. Sure, it removes some of the splotchiness, but at the, at the same time, it makes them a little too hard for my liking. Uh, a little harder to um, remove or smooth out, if you will. So, uh, there you can see I did one of those over the corner things. Uh, I think they look really good. Um, uh, really, because you don't want straight, sharp edges, sharp corners, or something like this. So. I would advise you to um, make some of those corner rocks. Again here, uh, filling things out from the guidelines very, very uh, largely, just generally filling things out here. Uh, accidentally selecting some faces and uh, keeping the selection up. So yeah, there you are. There you go. Uh, I have an issue with this rock. Uh, I don't think I will fix it too much. I will fix it slightly, but not too much. Uh, the left side, uh, it really doesn't stand out that much on the silhouette. I just figured I wouldn't really need to, considering I, I'm thinking this to be some sort of large um, side, maybe if you're on a rock, maybe this is one of the um, walls, uh, so to say. Uh, maybe if you're in a rock, sorry, if you're in a sort of dungeon -y place, uh, this might be one of the walls or, you know, something sort of that. So uh, that's why I'm keeping on the rocks really tiny, because you will be seeing this pretty close up and... Um, you know, well, you should, could be seeing it. So here you go, I'm sort of adding some... Remember, with the scrape brush, you're actually scraping away, which makes it lose uh, contour, a loose shape. Uh, so eventually, uh, you will, if you do too much, scrape, too much scraping, uh, you'll find yourself um, with a very flat surface. Uh, so you'll have to, you know, inflate it again, so to say. Uh, here I'm having some issues with this area here, so I have to s flatten it out with a flattened brush and then scrape it. Uh, and that fixes it pretty much. Again, scraping that area, scraping that. Remember to scrape, try scraping a, um, a flat thing in the middle and then sort of scraping the th things around that so it looks like it's sharp. Uh, that really helps with rocks and similar things. Um, 
I had some issues uh, scraping these small things here because well, for whatever reason I like working zoomed out. I don't generally tend to zoom in too much. Uh, when I do, I find myself over detailing parts, which I never thought of. Here I'm going in uh, with the smooth, basically just holding shift and brushing, which smooths things out and smoothing some of the knife lines out, which you can see fixes a lot of issues here. Uh, although I have to refine it all. Here I'm just adding another rock, seeing as I found it appropriate. I sort of thought it fit. So here I'm going in adding some more, uh, some more silhouette. Uh, definition here, which really doesn't come out too much in the end product, but you know, it's fine. Um, so, again, smoothing some of the knife lines out, and uh, I think I'm going with the scrape brush now and I'm just refining them slightly. Well, it won't really make that much difference, but I mean, it's if it worth if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. 